Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for your patience. And uh, this is Zephyr, who's a f very talented filmmaker. He had oh. his, uh, his uh, last feature at the Tribeca Film Festival uh, this last spring. Congratulations. Um, and Hi. Hi. But now he's carrying my luggage. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had the pleasure of seeing Boundaries before I got here. So fortunately, I, I had done my due diligence. Thank you. And then it's a, a fun comedy with, with I guess, a dramedy also say right uh so we're joined today by the director of, of boundaries shauna festi i got that exactly right totally okay good very rare. I don't yes thank you we have one of the uh actors from the film his name is uh lewis mcdougall is yeah. here who's one of the actors from the film he plays henry and we have also vera formiga uh who plays laura I do. Uh, who right who's uh henry's mom no christopher Plummer, sadly i did talk to charlie Plummer. Oh, that's while I was good here, enough, do you know Charlie? <laughs> yeah, the actor, Charlie, yeah. young actor who's in uh, Andrew Haig's film. Anyway, I digress. So yeah. now I was told by Gary, the great Gary Springer, that you, you, this, this story, Boundaries, is actually based on actual events from your life, Sean. Is that it true? It is. Yeah, uh -huh. it's um, definitely it's based on my father, mm -hmm. who is a incredibly charismatic, wonderful um, lawbreaker, and. Um, I think this film for me was just a way of really being able to understand our relationship, our super complicated relationship, and get in touch with some of, you know, the anger that I had repressed for so long, um, which was crazy and cathartic for me. Right, yeah. and that could eat you up. So this is this was yeah. really catharsis is the great way to put it, um, right? It's also kind of risky because you know how it ends up. Uh, representing that story has got to be something that's of great concern to you too, right? How it I ends mean, up. Well, mean? the film, how oh. it ends up, does it really, rep does it matter even? Because mm -hmm. the process, maybe it's the process that's actually the most helpful to you. Yeah, I, I think the process was really helpful. And then, you know, it is about me. And then when we get onto set, it's not so much about me. Then it's, you know, um, Christopher Plummer and transforming this character right. into something totally different. I mean, Christopher Plummer and my father could not be more different people. Really? I mean, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was Your not raised not... by Christopher Plummer, that's for sure. <laughs> I would have loved to have been. He's pretty cool. I would um, say so, yeah. yeah. You, we were raised in terms of the sound of music. But yeah, you know, exactly. raised on him, but in the yeah. different room. Yeah. I don't know. Plumber, Plumzilla's got a mad twinkle in his eye. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's... Yeah. It's, uh, it's remarkable. He just seems to be, is, it's like the most mischievous and most sort of he like. Is mischievous. Uh, he is indeed. Yeah, that's the voice of Vera for me. Does it end up being a, uh, uh, I don't know, more of a challenge to try to represent a real story or. It, it doesn't matter. Do you feel an obligation or a responsibility to the role in a different way? Hmm. Especially given that my director She's directing you, yeah, and the writer is yeah, right. the subject at hand. Yeah, that's. Um, I don't really think about it. I don't feel. I, th I suppose I've done that often enough in my career. Whether it's like whether it's a genre film like Conjuring or having to do Lee Hart in the Gary Hart story recently, or I, I, I oftentimes have a, or Down to the Bone, my first film I ever did playing a real life model. Oh, right. I mean, there is, I think the understanding is that um, even Shauna writing herself is also embellishing upon her experience and drawing from her experience as a mother now and mm -hmm. and as a daughter, and but also I, I think. Um, it's a compilation. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that Laura is you to a T. I would hope not. I mean, no, no. <laughs> well, at yeah. Point, at yeah. Certain point. Certain point. If there's just an organic thing that occurs to any character, right? That. But not... you know, I, I don't know. I don't really think about it. I think the script was so delightful and so on point and so strong that right. I, mean, I t always take the cues from the script, not necessarily studying Shauna and the way she moves or the way she reacts or the you know the way she operates. I'm also bringing my experience in. Um, I mean, I did not have a dad who was a rascal. I had a right. dad who who was a monk. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, was such a not really not, but, but okay. I mean, Everybody he was is. not. There was he was. I was probably the rascal in in in, in our relationship. But mm -hmm. still, I mean, whether it's your mom, whether it's your dad, whether it's we, we always have this untapped anger that we just don't get in touch with, and that for me is what resonated most. In, in making sure that that's that's what that's the at the core the heart of what's going on with Laura yeah understanding that 
and then everything else, I mean, is will follow suit. I mean, Christopher Plummer and I have a certain energy together, and 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 Louis McDougal and I have a certain energy together. So you know, you you tap into that energy as best as you can, and you riff on that, and then it yeah. moves. It, before you know it, it, moves further and further away, mm-hmm. probably from yeah. Yeah. from yeah. Sean Festi's experience, but. Um, I, I, I do think about it, and I don't think about it. I can't think about it too much. Sure. I can't it's obsess over that. Right, right. And I, uh, obviously, as an actor, and a seasoned actor, you there's instincts that kick in in terms of where the line is and how you deal with that. I understand, right, in terms yeah. of that uh, uh, tension or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, do you, I, I guess, Shauna, you must have a son, uh, uh, an I actual I, No, I wrote, I think Lewis's oh. character is a lot about me. I do have two sons. Okay. Um, and I kind of imagine what they might be like when they were older. Uh-huh. And that inspired Lewis, but also yeah. probably Lewis is a lot of me. So wait, do you have two young sons? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. They're, 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 they're two they're, and they're four. We? They're we. <laughs> Sorry. We boys. Yeah, we. Boys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> were they on the set? Did you meet them? Uh, yeah, I, I, well, I didn't meet both of them. I, 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 I met Ellis and he was very little yeah, when, I, when I met him. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, actually, I got to, I also got to meet Vera's. Well, one, yeah, one, he had no choice. I needed babysitters. So <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I actually <laughs> helped, helped, helped out co- coaching her, her son's soccer team. And yeah, so, he did. So, no, that was, that was oh. good to get he to know did. everybody yeah. really well. And, and as you said, well, like, Shan doesn't actually have a 15-year-old son. Right. And so that also, I guess, gave me a, a bit more freedom to just... Yeah. Right. Just, just do what I felt was right, I guess. Yeah, that took that, what we're talking with about with Laura and, and Vera, the, we're, that was not even a part of the equation because you're kind of a composite plus or whatever. I mean, yeah. yeah. So this is a work of fiction based on some real events, so, so let's get that right. This is not a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's a road movie, essentially, and it's a comedy, as I mentioned. Um, there's a lot of wonderful bits, and there's a lot of great character actors you cast in this movie sadly they're not here today but um and uh was what was the uh the shooting schedule was that a very br- relatively brief or it was pretty brief yeah yeah, yeah. i think uh, it was what, 24 25 days yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, was it uh most where did you shoot we where shot in was vancouver it? Uh-huh. And then we did some driving stuff down the coast. Okay. Yeah. Down the west coast, yes. I guess, right? That and we did sense. a day in Couple, Los Angeles. Yeah. We did yeah. a day on the beach. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. So, and, and is it safe to say that uh, that what's in the, the car and uh, how much of this is, uh, are we not wanting to divulge? Oh, spoil. Got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think about that. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> do you have a, it, uh, well, let's put it this way. The, what, uh, it starts off. What do you want to know? Okay, for? let's put it this way. <laughs> and we could always, we could always edit something. Let's put it this way. The factor, the mitigating factor, what have you, that, mm-hmm. that launches the story yeah. is that uh, Christopher Plummer, who's playing uh, Laura's dad, yeah. uh, he's uh, Jack. He's uh, t- thrown out again from the senior residence or, se- or right, you Right, he, get ki- he gets kicked out mm-hmm. of. Uh, of yeah. It's retirement home. Yeah. Retirement home. <laughs> and it doesn't sound like it's the first time he's gotten into trouble in that way, potentially. So so he now needs a place to uh, live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the, the deal is that I, I, have, I have an offbeat son who needs, who's probably going to be requiring special schooling, which costs a heck of a lot of money. That's right. And so the understanding is... And we money. And we are estranged from each other in this parent-child relationship with me and Chris Plummer. Where um, he's a schemer by nature, and if he can scheme up the cash for for my son's um, <laughs> special, you'll <ed>. forgive him. <laughs> yeah. then, then you'll forgive him. Well, past. not necessarily forgive him, but I'll I'll give him a ride yeah. to to my sister's 400 square foot um, <laughs> oh, right. you, apartment where he can live the end of his days. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, that's that's right. So so Christopher Plummer completely game here, right? He's oh, just like he, in a trucker hat. Yeah, great. A in a hat. He's yeah. willing to do anything. Uh, oh my god! Anything you ask? He's a clown. Mm-hmm. He really is. Yeah, I mean, he, with stamina to boot, oh. had more energy than well, how do you any of it? us. Yeah, how I think you? it was that the, you know all his theater background. Yeah. See, we were shooting in an old folks' home, and we had the most lovely day players, and some of them could were struggling with mm-hmm. remembering remembering a line or two. And right. Well, for one, 
really lovely woman. We had to write down her line. And here Christopher Plummer was doing 10 pages a day of dialogue yeah. and never missing a word. No. I mean, he is, he is just a crazy pro. But I think the twinkle in his eye, although he is so different than my father. My father's a Texan. My father's a okay. cowboy. Right. He's um, a little more rough and tumble. But they both have that mischievous twinkle in their eye that um, is just undeniable. Right. Now, I understand your father actually was on the set. He was. And he plays a... Um, well, he has couldn't a get into Vancouver because he's a felon. Oh, my God. So <laughs> he got to the airport, and then we had to turn him around, and he couldn't come. Really? Yeah. Wow. So he tried. He, he tried. tried. He'll always try. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, a little thing like the letter of the law. A little, <laughs> yeah. Well, they put him in the L.A. bit, um, so he yeah. actually has a nice deal with, with Christopher yeah. Plummer. Right. Also, uh, uh, Christopher Plummer is Canadian. Yes. Right? Yeah. So there was kind of a Canadian connection there, too. Yeah. So did he think perhaps uh, that Canada's a little looser with that type of uh, relationship with the United States uh, that they might overlook the fact that he's a felon? They didn't no. overlook no. the fact that he's a felon. Well, no, apparently not. But yeah. maybe he thought, maybe <laughs> yeah, I can talk maybe. my way into, <laughs> talk my way across the border there. Yeah, he's not as good as he used to be, I guess. <laughs> it's good to not work. So is he missing a lot from your childhood? Is sorry. Was your dad? Missing a lot. Yeah, uh, he was in and out of my childhood. Okay. You know, um, yeah. just kind of in with a Rolls Royce that he had won in a poker game, and we'd go to, you know, every restaurant and order everything on the menu, and, and then, then the next day he'd lose it all on a football game, and we'd be eating top ramen and buying lotto tickets. It was like a very up and down childhood. Right, yeah. which is great for uh, childhood, right? In Super consistent. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really and safe. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Lewis, um, what, what's your childhood like as, a, as an actor? Um, yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's pretty normal, I would say, really. I mean, is it? Yeah. yeah I mean, I've, I've not really, I've been back at school. I've not filmed something in like a, a year or so. So. Okay. Uh, but, you know, my friends and everything, they treat me it's normal. Like, like they would if I wasn't in any sort of films. At least I, I think they are. Um, mm -hmm. But... Um, yeah, I mean it's it's kind of weird um, sometimes. You know, you have like kids in like the younger years of the school like might come up to me or something like that, which is kind of funny, as, uh, I guess. But um, it's kind of weird watching yourself like grow up on, on the screen and everything. It's it's an odd experience, but I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. How many how many uh, films have you done? To date? I've done four, but. Um, I mean, this one's still to come out, and then the other one that I did still to come out. Okay. So and and, and did, how did you how did you do a, a come to do a, such a good American accent? Well, um, I had a great a great dialect coach. Mm -hmm. Really, that was that was actually that's really what it was. And um, I guess the fact that you know in 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 the UK and Britain we just watch we watch as much American television as, as they do here. So I've got so many. You have references. Influences. Yeah, I can I mean I can watch something and just. I mean, what I used to do is actually, um, my dialect coach used to give me like certain actors um, whose whose accents I could kind of replicate. So I remember li li listening to um, like Jake Gyllenhaal or Leonardo DiCaprio mm -hmm. and just like repeating what they said just to try to try and get into the accent. Mm -hmm. um, so it's an interesting experience learning an accent. And I've only ever done one film in my own accent, so yeah, but it's it's, it's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It's a good skill to have, I guess. So you, you, do you do any any impressions? Don't do impressions. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds like because you have to have a very good ear, yeah. To yeah. especially it. Okay, let me, in, let me hear your, the, let's hear your break. Let's hear your Christopher walk. Oh no! See, on, <laughs> see, it's a different story doing it on <laughs> Phallus. He played my dad in like one of the first films I did, but again. No, I, now I can't do it. All right, you do it. I, 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 do it. No, I have the same problem. You do it. I get, I get, I get. I What's can, your Chris Walker? Sometimes do I can, it. Uh, Fallas. Yeah. Fallas. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You know. <laughs> crazy. I know, it's hard. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I did have Dick Cavett. You know, he's here with a documentary. I don't know if you know. There's a documentary about his friendship with uh, Muhammad Ali. And they've made it into a documentary. It's very, really wonderful. And actually, we, we, were, we were with him a couple of days ago. And he had done my... Uh, podcast once before because you know it's a talk show kind of ish show that I do. <laughs> I'm not comparing it to uh, the Dick Cavett show by any stretch, but I was very I loved him growing up, you know, and um, <clears throat> so uh, and he and he does a lot of impressions. So we found myself doing like dueling James Masons with him and <laughs> yeah. on the last thing. Anyway, 
So, uh, well, the name again of the film is <laughs> is Boundaries, directed by Shauna Festi, and uh, it stars Vera Farmiga. And so, so name some of the other, and, and Lewis McDougal, of course, excuse me. And name some of the, <laughs> Christopher Peter Plummer, Plummer yeah. but some of the other uh, folks in the film, because uh, I think, you know, a lot of film lovers would love to hear what a great cast you've assembled. And, and yeah, Peter Fonda. Peter Fonda. Christopher Lloyd. Uh, not familiar yeah. with these guys, but I hear they're good. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Cannavale. Bobby, of course, of course, my gosh. Dolly Wells. Kristen Skull. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Right, she mm-hmm. plays your sister, mm-hmm. who we mentioned, who we're trying to get Dad to move into her place, and she's she's uh, yeah. You you tapped into Kristen. Is it Kristen or I Kristen? I, I always screw that up. Kristen. You tapped into her kind of uh, uh, unique character, but used it well here. She oh, didn't. Good. You know what I mean? Like uh, she's a little daffy, mm-hmm. but a lot of fun. And you two. Oh wait, you two have an, uh, a little bit of a. Uh, 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 what would you call it? A, um, a, a musical? A dance off? Yeah. A dance number? Yeah. A dance the, presentation? Where did that come about? Did you did actually do that from? with your sister? Well, do you have I it? did. My sister and I did the oddest thing in that we would, when my father was a bookie for a while, and when he would lose a lot of money in football games, we would then, for no good reason, get in our underwear and put toilet paper around our face, like head as like a ribbon and, and a hat, mm-hmm. and we would do a dance for him. And it was very awkward and horrible, and I tried to capture that in a much better way on screen. But <laughs> it's completely inappropriate, and I'm sure he thought it was totally inappropriate as well. Uh, he, uh, it was embarrassing. Dad? Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> but again, Mr. Plummer, game. So that's good. Totally yeah. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did not dance in our underwear, <laughs> no. however. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> there is, could be a sequel, very true. But coming from a Jewish family, we're a very small family. I mean, I didn't even know boundary about mm-hmm. boundaries in the sense of like I didn't know like it's inappropriate to be so in my business, you mm-hmm. know. And until I was with someone who wasn't Jewish, mm-hmm. and we were very, you know, making sort of a plan to spend the rest of our lives together. And then she came from a a, a Catholic, larger Southern family where there were lots of oops, there were lots of. Uh, you know, kids and, and people didn't quite, you know, they let them grow up, you know, and, and then kind of ha- had more of a, uh, you know, hands-off approach to, to being a parent. So it was a surprise to me, you know. Yeah. So I kind of could relate, even though your parents were, were quite different than mine, yeah. you know. Where was, your, where was your mom in all this? I didn't write my mom. She's, I killed my mom off. Yeah, yeah, it's in just the, in easier the that way. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! I, no, 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 I no! I don't mean it that way. I, I know what you that. meant. I know what you meant. No, uh, no, you know, yeah, it was a lot. I think my dad takes up a lot of space, and so I just was kind of constant. And yeah, yeah, and the animals, you know, take up a lot of space. I wanted to fit in all the animals as well. Oh right, yes. One of the other uh, sort of, uh, I guess, quirk. He, uh, oh, well, uh, uh, quirks of, of of Laura's personality is she she's uh, a an addictive uh, adoptive adopter of of, of of stray animals. Addictive adopter. Uh, uh, yeah. That's a clumsy way of putting it, but <laughs> what's the right? You're, you're, you you can't really help yourself. Laura can't help herself. I should no, say. No, she's an she, animal lover. Right, and and a savior. Right. of mm-hmm. animals. Yeah, there's some pretty cute animals in the film oh, as yeah. well. So one is my own. Did you enjoy that aspect of oh, it? Yeah, as yeah, it was great. yeah, I mean, whenever we were filming in the car. Yeah. Um, you know, you'd be sitting there with about. Especially me in the back seat, with about four or five dogs on top of you, and then along with that, there would be the, the sort of wrangler yeah. lying lying down. Oh, really? The seats. So it was really it was it was quite crowded back there, but it was it was <laughs> it was good fun, yeah. And as Shannon was going to say, one of the dogs is her own, and Loretta, she was a kind of like small, a mangy little white mutt. Yeah. yeah. No, it was it was good fun with all, with all the animals. Yeah. And it, was that a, based on fact too? Yeah, I mean I. That's very true to me, and also trying to shine a light on ant- rescuing animals for me was a really personal thing. But I, I, I have a revolving um, the door when it comes to animals, so I usually have about seven to eight. Oh, really? Um, and that idea of Laura, you know, in her bed with nine animals is kind of my like utopia. Like I see that as just loveliness. And I know when we screened the movie at first, and we asked for comments, people were like. 
is she mentally ill? Is that, why would she be hoarding so many animals? And I'm thinking, oh, she's generous and amazing. Like, what is? And they're like, it's disgusting in her room. I would, and I was shocked by those comments because I just thought it was the most amazing, beautiful thing to sleep with that many animals. Uh, is there a, a reality series based on animal hoarding? I, I mean, this I could haven't be, been on it. You know, no. I don't know. Well, we started the conversation. You're you're talking about uh, the catharsis of of maybe telling this particular story, mm -hmm. you know, and I wonder if, uh, well, two things. One is, do you feel legitimately like you've gotten a lot of this kind of worked out, yeah. the, the, the issues that I'm you're- I'm all better. You're all better. <laughs> <laughs> Saved a lot of money out there. Making an, independent, yeah. making an independent film is actually probably cheaper than the amount of therapy, yeah. talk yeah. therapy that, <laughs> that's sure. ex if you want to talk expensive, yeah. that nothing is like in making a film. And then uh, also, I guess, is da Dad. He saw, yeah. obviously, he's in it, so he participated and he supported your making this film, of, yeah. uh, which is kind of like a personal thing, and, yeah. and he could be offended or upset by it, but apparently, I mean, I'm wondering what he thought of the film well, at the end of the day, where know, he I, saw it. I teach at AFI, and I teach screenwriting, or I taught last year, and I always tell my students, you know, um, write something that you would be nervous about giving someone, because when mm -hmm. they read it, they have to know more about you. And so this film, I really wanted, I wanted to make myself as vulnerable as possible and to write something personal. And I want, um, my father passed away in June. I'm and sorry. That was yeah. right when the film, we were finishing the film. And it, I was nervous to show him. I was, because I didn't want him to see that anger still. So that still was something that I struggle yeah. with. Right. And so, you know, my family is all coming tonight. They're all supporting me here oh, yeah. in Austin. Right. But um, it was a really scary experience writing my father so closely. And even my sister and some of his friends. My sister hasn't seen the movie yet. Um, and I'm definitely nervous about how they'll see it. But um, yeah, my father unfortunately didn't get to see the film. Um, but I, I, in a way, I think it's a love letter to him, so. It, it's An a, angry love letter. <laughs> but you know, I had this experience well, with Finn the other day, mm. I, my, my nine-year-old, where he's an even-keeled guy, and he's yeah. really um, measured. Mm -hmm. But he flipped out, flipped mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. and he's a, a blue belt in karate, and, and, <laughs> and the master, like, he was using him as an example. He's the youngest blue belt, and he's working towards his red belt, and his, his master, like, pinned, used him as an example, but to the point of, uh, it, of it hurt, and he, for the first time in his life, he unleashed such vehemence and anger, and it was profoundly scary for me to see he's such a gentle dude, but he wasn't in this instance. And it was terrifying, but at the same time, I was like, yes! Yeah. Yes, yeah. find your voice yeah. in the way that Bobby Cannavale's character yeah. goes, good for good you, Laura, yeah. good exactly. for you. Exactly, you know, exactly. And I think it's healing for him as well, Yeah, yeah. the story was. No, well, thank, thanks for sharing that, that's a nice story. Well, again, the name of the movie is called Boundaries, and uh, directed by Shauna Pesty. And what's next? Uh, we're here, we're here, I don't even know if I mentioned in, during the course of this conversation that we're here in Austin uh, at the premiere, world premiere yes. of, of Boundaries uh -huh. uh, here at South by Southwest 2018. And uh, do you, can you mention even what's coming up next? Because the, by the time I put this um, out into the universe, it'll be after South by Southwest, certainly. Yeah. But I can uh, well, um, I, help Well, I'm really thrilled to um, say I, I optioned the life rights of the first female rapper from Afghanistan. And her name is Paradise, and I wrote it into a hip hop musical. So um, I'm really excited. That's my next project. I'm there. All right. <laughs> so cool. there. But I was wondering, uh, I, even even also, just in terms of boundaries, like mm -hmm. what what what. Uh, what what's uh, uh, is it got more festival? Are you doing oh, more festival? Oh, got it. That's no, no, and please, no, no, no. Um, I want. I, I, that's great to know about next, too. Well, it's next for me personally. I'm going to have dinner with my husband. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, very good. We're, we're Sony Classics is releasing it in June. Perfect. Um, okay. And we're going to go to a few more festivals. Yeah. 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 So there is a. Uh, I'm sure it'll. Oh, I'm in New York. So oh, okay, great. I look forward to uh, helping maybe get the word out when Boundaries has its theatrical we would in love there, that. and I'm sure it'll be also at the. I'm going to guess Lemley Monica Center or something, some such place in Los Angeles. Probably. And uh, Lewis, uh, well, since we didn't mention uh, Shauna's next project, uh, do you have another role coming up? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I was in a movie called The Belly of the Whale about The Belly of the Whale. The belly of the Whale, yeah. It's nothing to do with whale. It's very it's, biblical you know, it's, though. It's, it's a metaphor. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's biblical and filmed that about almost a year about a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. So that should be coming out later this year and mm-hmm. yeah, looking forward to that as well, yeah. Well if our paths should bring us together again mm-hmm. you can knock off the phony scottish accent <laughs> <laughs> and this from, this from me uh, uh what oh, about you? i mean you must that? have a t- um god i did a film with john goodman called captive state it's gonna mm-hmm. be in theaters near you soon uh hugh jackman and i did the gary and lee hart story uh, directed by jason Reitman, oh, right you who mentioned I've that before, before and yeah, yeah. On up in the air and um godzilla 2 Woo. is coming out is a <laughs> handful of them <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming on and finding time to do the podcast. It was a thrill to to get to meet you and to have you on the show. Thanks it's for crazy. Us. Thank you very much. Seems, yeah, thank you.